Welcome to the Kingdom of Cambodia. We have escaped the main city and we are on our way. This is what we're working with today. It ain't much, but it's ours. It comes from Vietnam, which is quite far away at this point. We have some children coming. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hey hi! <laughs> bye bye! We are on a mission to get to Angkor Wat. That's the plan, that's the goal. Next stop is Badenburg, which is about 400 kilometers away from the city that we've come from. How we ended up exactly where we are, about 200 kilometers in, how quickly I'll show you. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, beer, beer. Yes. Uh, kiss me, you drink two water and two coca, right? Yes. And you left something? Many. Yes. I leave, I leave. Anybody want, they can have. The protection is good. You take. And we are leaving all this behind. We have. Boom. It's got to go. It saved me once in Vietnam. How much, sorry? Uh, four dollars. Four dollars. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is it okay? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Do you take your... Hmm? You take uh, something and the room or not? Like your Online? No, uh, the mom. Got plenty of run up, no, the top of the run up, so you got your mom when you're... Okay, got the arm. Oh, got the arm. Oh, got the arm. Okay, I'm sorry. What, what, what? <laughs> what was wrong? the arm. Oh, got 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 the arm. Thank you. I put here and load. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's difficult. <laughs> yeah, difficult. Difficult. How are you? <laughs> you can do? Good. And then this one. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. I'm like nearly out of fuel. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Cambodia has a mixed reputation. If you read online, you'll see that it's, uh, it's dangerous, supposedly. 
It is dangerous, that's what they say. Guns, maybe poverty. Also, 45 years ago, they had a, a genocide in Cambodia. 25% of the population was destroyed by a man called Pol Pot, I believe was his name, who was a, a teacher. I don't know if we ended up on the right road. I could stop, but it always feels so defeating to stop. Because you have to reset everything. bars left. I don't want to unpack my bike until we're ready. Until I need to. Oh, does this mean police? I'm scared, man. Maybe. Ah, uh, maybe. Hello. There it is. Stop me. Get in the wave. I looked nervous. Oh, I looked nervous. Holy shit. Police everywhere, every five minutes. Last Friday night. Bye bye, thank you. Oh, it's sweaty business. Sweating like hell. Kind of a follow-on from the Vietnam War and strangely enough America supporting Pol Pot for quite a while uh, because he was against Russia. So I don't know too much about the history but we are here, we are going to discover it, we're going to find out. I am just a nerdy, chubby, inexperienced traveller who wants to show the world and our mission our objective we go to anger what we document our travels we work our way around Cambodia and eventually we go back to Vietnam and we'll drive 2,000 kilometers to the north towards Hanoi and hopefully once we're in Hanoi we'll be able to get our way into China or maybe Lao I'm not sure we shall see Hello! Coca-Cola. Coke, Coke. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I have this one. Thank you. Thank you. Akin. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. On top of the truck. is recently deemed a wonder of the world one of the biggest temples the oldest temples currently still standing I suppose over a thousand years old I believe it's a Buddhist temple we shall see I've never been there I've wanted to go there since I was a child since a small boy playing games like civilization seeing all you know the history and the culture and all of this it's just it's one of those things Something I've wanted to do since I was a small boy, since playing games like Civilization and seeing all of this. It's recently deemed one of the wonders of the world. 
But in terms of danger and everything else, Cambodia is dangerous. There were guns here, lots of guns. I tried to go and shoot an RPG recently. Rocket launcher, grenade, uh, grenades, AK-47s, you name it, we tried to do it. But the Prime Minister has recently banned all these shooting ranges. He stopped it, which is a good thing. Because bullets and guns, they were kind of finding their way into hands that shouldn't have these weapons. So yeah, there are guns in Cambodia, and for an Englishman, a little British nerdy boy who is pretty small and pretty defenseless and half blind, that's a pretty terrifying concept, honestly. <laughs> but uh, let's do it. Let's continue to Badenburg and towards Angle Wat. It's worth mentioning, of course, that every country is dangerous, and if you read online, it will say awful things. It'll say robbery, pickpockets, don't be alone, don't do this, don't do that. But the reality is, <laughs> if you don't go to dangerous places and you don't act stupid, and if you don't put yourself in these positions, you're very safe. If you watch any other YouTubers, they do go to these dangerous places and nothing happens. It might be because they're a gargantuan, tall, sexy white man who looks intimidating. But that's not the case with me. I'm a small, nerdy little dude. And I've been to some dangerous places. I've been to the frontier in Vietnam. I've been in the remote wilderness. And nothing's happened. Nothing at all. You are generally safe as long as you don't put yourself in stupid positions. And of course, that's not to say things can't happen. Of course they can. But it's the same as anything. It's a lottery. And in my mind, in my country, in England, maybe once a week you can go out and have some kind of altercation. It's happening very frequently. So let's continue. We have two hours left to our next destination. Hello, I need one minute, one minute. Thank you. Thank you very much. Full, full. Full. Full, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Good smile. <laughs> oh man, hot. Beer. I shall see. Five. Five. Yes. How many more? Two. Two. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm a mango. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, we got some weird Pepsi and some water. So I'm getting lightheaded. Oh, it's sweet water. Oh, sweat, sweat. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. And it's hot. Good Lord. Save me. The only place it's not hot is when you're driving. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> oh, the wind. 
instantly fixes every problem. Oh my god, it's delicious. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, the wind. Oh, I can cry. It's so, so nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe asking yourself, <clears throat> why am I wearing a mask and long sleeves and a tight top that shows my voluptuous breasts? But the answer to that is, I've been stopped by the police yesterday. And the biggest giveaway, of course, is my, is my skin, my biker tan. Um, so, I'm covering up. That's the strategy, it seems to be working. Also, I mean, you can tell just from the lens, from driving, it's covered in dust and dirt and everything else. So a mask helps, stops you getting sick. Because <clears throat> I've been sick on these six hour rides before. Um, yeah, yeah, I can feel it coming on. I've just recovered from a sickness due to the, probably the same thing. Five hours into the ride, nearly there. Countryside, small roads, potholes that are trying to kill you. Nice and casual drive, you know. I've been on the main highway for five hours. Really? Maybe. Huh. Where the hell are we now? Now this feels like Cambodia. Where the fuck is their GPS taking us? Jesus. Street 800, somewhere in the city. I expected a huge city. It's like their third most populated. Is it here? No. Yeah. Well, nearly. Oh. Wow. Should really be looking out for potholes instead. <coughs> This is not what I expected in any way. We're gonna follow this lady. She seems to know what's up. She fox. Maybe not. <coughs> Maybe not. the map for sure we'll just go straight forward hello hotel hotel royal 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 hotel is one of these it's uh, one of these I think there. Some, oh, there, there, there. Okay, okay. There. Yes, yes, yes. No. Sign, sign. <laughs> it's okay to vroom vroom. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you.
Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I have a booking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Is it okay? I take yeah, my bags. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello. I have a reservation. Very tired. <laughs> And then you see, we start with a seat to be kept at home. We start 1.30, we back here about 7 o'clock. Hmm? You book one Just, night. Yeah, just one. And if I like, then I stay more and more and more. Where you from? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> wow. <gasps> nice. Good. Oh, thank the heavens. Get that air conditioning on. Uh, yeah, drove six hours today. God, next videos will be, I think, exploring some caves, seeing the city, getting more confident with the camera, practice. Because I feel so dumb. Even now, I don't want to talk full volume. Um. But yeah, thanks for driving with me. It was good to have somebody with me because it does get tiring, especially in this heat. So hot. Oh my God. But I, I don't know if that's it. I don't know if that's it. It might be. If it is, thanks for watching. Peace.